You know, we generally like to give new boys the benefit of the doubt. This is the second time in two weeks that you've been in front of me. Now, I think you better give your mother a call, tell her to come down here. So, what do we do? Because this isn't working. We barely have any money, Kathy's moving out now, and on top of it all, you've gone wild. I can't handle it anymore, and it scares me. You're your real macho. Come on, go where you want, do what you want. You're a performer? Here you do me. <laughs> Just a little trick I learned in the Navy. <laughs> well, your fancy days are over. You're a concrete boy now. It's going to be my job to turn you around, to set you straight, to kill or cure. And I will do it. Kill or cure. Kill or cure. You don't belong in concrete any more than I do. I mean, this place like to kill us because we're different. Jack's teachers like him, but they feel he's fallen in with the wrong kind of friends. Welcome to beautiful concrete! <laughs> That's the hotshot boy. It's the guy who thinks he knows everything, thinks he's so smart. You pull that hotshot stuff around me and I'll break every bone in your goddamn body. Do you understand me? And I'll pop your head like a zit. I used to imagine I saw my father coming toward me. I'd wait for him to recognize me. But he's not here now, is he? Is he? Do you know what chickens do when one chicken's born with little difference? Or with a couple black feathers on its head, say? They peck at that black spot until the chicken's dead. Quitter, gonna be a goddamn quitter? Let's go! Come on, damn you! I can see those spots that you can't change. Leopard. Huh, leopard? Huh? You can dream of a moment for years and still somehow miss it when it comes. You've got to reach through the flames and take it. We'll lose it forever. <laughs>